Hi, my name is Gleb Budman from Backblaze. So Backblaze is a company who does backup, right? Mm -hmm. Online backup of your computer. Which is a little bit funny and pathetic because I just got my MacBook Pro completely revamped thanks to the Apple Store. Uh, reinstalled, so I guess it's exactly what happened to me who shouldn't happen to people. It's exactly what happened to you and hopefully won't happen to other people. Um, it, what we find though is that 94% of people are in exactly your boat. They have a computer, they have data on it, but they don't back it up. And so at some point um, they will lose data. Maybe it's, like in your case, very soon after. Maybe it's two, three years later, but it, it's going to happen if you don't back up at some point. We do an online backup service, which means we just take all of your data off of your computer, back it up over the internet to our data centers, and that way it's kept remote and safe. And it, if you have a fire, you have a flood, you have someone break into your house and steal your computer, they could steal your external hard drive, Nothing, uh, uh, none of that can touch your computer if, you're, if your data is backed up with this. There's lots of reasons why people lose data. The, a lot of times people think, well, my hard drive probably won't crash. Um, now, in your case... It's a hard drive. It actually did. Um, but it, it, what we see is that um, uh, people's hard drives crash. Sometimes they get a virus, which deletes some of their data. Sometimes, like laptops, um, people leave them in taxis. They, there's about 10,000 laptops stolen every week in airports just in the U.S. Uh, so there's a lot of ways to lose data like that. The most common way, frankly, is people um, doing something wrong. They, they hit the delete key, they, um, they buy mistakes, spill coffee on it. They, it's, it's human error a lot more than it's actually mechanical error. But all put together, um, one of the stats that we saw with our customers is that about one out of every two people need to restore at least some data every year. It's good that you speak about coffee on the laptop. Then I think I'm going to move the laptop. How, how did you start the company? How did the idea start? Somebody has his laptop crashing? It actually pretty close. Uh, one of the co-founders of the company has friends for whom he does uh, IT for, and uh, she lost her data. Her computer died, and she called them up and said, "Help! Uh, my computer died. I need you to get me my, my data back." And he said, "No problem. Where's your backup?" And she said, "Look, what I don't need now is a lecture. What I need is for you to get me my data back." And there was nothing, of course, he could do. And so we started asking all of our friends and family and said, what are you doing for backup? What are you doing for backup? What are you doing for backup? And the answer almost completely across the board was nothing. I guess, yeah, it's probably nothing. And even worse, uh, software engineers, we're even worse than the others. We know the problematic. We're just too lazy to do something. And yeah, uh, even, even if we have the technical capacity, which is funny, by the way, we will not spend the time trying to figure out how to upload to our own server. So you guys make it easier. Yeah, exactly. We found that most people, the reason they don't do it is they, they hope that it won't happen. And they just don't have the time uh, to deal with it. So what we did was we said, we're going to make it as easy as possible. And the entire experience is you click Start Backing Up, and then you enter an email address and a password. You hit Install, and you're done. We automatically back up all of your data over the internet to our data centers, and you don't have to do anything ever again. I was amazed by the way you, you guys do it, because it's, it's very easy to get a part of your data later, and you kind of take it back from some of the server and there is, I think send an email to people to let know now it's ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have basically, we back up all of your data, but then we let you pick what you want back. So you can take one file back, or you can take a folder back, or you can get all of your data back. And you can ask for it by download, you can get a DVD, or you can get an actual hard drive sent to you with all of your data on it, um, for obviously for an additional fee. And it's, once again, unlimited space, which is really cool. Yeah, it's unlimited storage, and a lot of times people ask, no, but really, is it really unlimited? I mean, I have 100 gigabytes. It's unlimited. We have users with multiple terabytes of data um, stored on our servers. Well, that's my case, and I tell you what, uh, I, it's not that I want to back up unlimited data because really honestly most of this is not really important it's just that I want to spend time uh, searching for what is important and that's exactly the reason we made it unlimited we, we figured that the, the process of people actually having to go through and figure out what needs to be backed up is a lot of what keeps people from taking that action 
and that if we just make it as easy as click a button, get all of it done, and not have to worry about it, it's the easiest way for people to actually not lose data anymore. How many users do you have, and do you know approximately how many f terabytes are there? Yeah, so we, we actually don't publish how many users. We have multiple, many thousands of users, but, um, but we have about a petabyte and a half um, of data storage, which just for comparison is about the same amount as all of Facebook's photo storage um, combined. Our best customers are the ones who've purchased an external hard drive. Because w w the first thing that happens is people think, oh, I bought a computer and it will be here with me for the rest of my life. Nothing will happen to it, everything will be fine. Then they think, oh, I should do something. My computer might die. They go out and they buy an external hard drive as backup. Then they realize that even though they have that external hard drive, they probably aren't actually backing up to it on a regular basis. Maybe they're running out of space on it. Um, it's local, so it could get stolen. And so then they start thinking, oh, I should also back up to an off-site service. And that's when they sign up with us. Um, and you know, some of our users have uh, five gigabytes of data backed up with us, and some of them have five terabytes of data backed up with us. And we just work on the averages. See, that's funny because I've been having hard drives for, um, I guess, like about 12 years, something like that. Never ever had a problem. And like two months ago, one of my um, red one hard drives, uh, so of, because it's red one, it's cool, died. So it's cool because only one died, 300 gigabyte. But still, like hard drive died. So people have to know that hard drive is the weakest link in a computer. And now this one on the MacBook Pro, it seems that it's a hard drive, so I'm not really sure. By the way, be careful if you send your hard drive to the Apple Store, to the geniuses. They say they will let you know if they want to reinstall it. They didn't say anything. So if you imagine what a hard drive is doing, there's a spinning disk inside there that's spinning at 7,000 times uh, a minute with tiny, tiny tolerance there. Uh, you get a piece of dust in there and the whole hard drive can get destroyed. Um, you drop it, people put them in laptops, they carry them around. Um, hard drives do die. Now they are amazing pieces of technology that they typically last for several years um, without dying. But at some point, if the hard drive isn't backed up, it will die and the data will get lost. Very last question. People um, are probably concerned with the fact that their data at, um, are in somebody else's hands. So, first of all, confidentiality, and then security is your data that because your data center is obviously a bunch of hard drives, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So from a security perspective, we encrypt all of your data on your machine before it goes anywhere. It's sent over an encrypted connection and it's stored encrypted in the data center. The data center itself is in a locked cabinet, uh, a set of cabinets. The, uh, the data center then is behind locked doors, behind a locked uh, building with 24-hour security guards and biometric security. So it's a very, very secure way of keeping your data. Uh, it's all in what's called a RAID 6 configuration, so it's stored across multiple hard drives at the same time, and it would have to have multiple hard drives in our data center to die all at the exact same moment. And even if that happens, you have a copy of the data. And so if we happen to have lost a, a file in, in our data center, it would contact your computer and say, hey, send me this one file back automatically. So the only way the data would get lost is if your hard drive died at the exact same moment as multiple hard drives, all of which had your data, all of which were in one pod, died all at exactly the same moment, which is statistically very unlikely. Okay, thank you very much. We, I guess, once again, I can say from my experience, guys, back up, back up, back up. When I learned computer sciences, I learned that there are three rules in computers. That was save, save, and save again. And in the meantime, it's really like backup, backup, and backup again. And backup. Uh, and again, it's backblaze, B-A-C-K-B-L-A-Z-E.com. Five bucks a month, free trial. Give it a try.